Okay. I just put some white lithium grease on, on here. And I put some grease on the inside of the jug. And what I'm going to do is pull this off for just one second here. And I'm going to pull the towel out. Put the base gasket back in its place. It's going to go right up in there. Now, what I like to do is I like to compress the ring and be sure that it's still on its guide that I've stressed several times. There we go. As you can see, there's very little gap there because it's fitting so tight. Hold the gasket up and push this down. So it looks like it twisted on me. Did you see that? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Wow. See? I want that to happen to you. There. Now it's in place. And you see a little bit of grease up in here. The arrow is facing down. And we're ready to install the stock head on it. When we tighten the bolts up, we're just going to barely snug them up one here, one here, one here, one here, crossways until they're just slightly snug. And then we'll torque them down. Okay, here's our new head. Here is the seal that goes in between the two. So what we're going to go ahead and do is drop some bolts through this. And make sure that goes through the seal here. And we'll do one more. Get two to get it started. sure that the bolt goes through this gasket down here as you can see the gasket's moving freely so it actually has gone through it. And before I tighten it too tight, even snug, I just want it to get these on there and I want to wiggle it around to make sure it's in a sound position. I'm going to go ahead and hook up and I'm going to torque these down to about 14 pounds. I'm not sure what the data sheet says, but 14 pounds should do it. Something else I want to do before I do that is I'm just going to move the Kickstarter a little bit and see if it moves real freely without the plug in there. And of course it's moving freely and you don't hear any clicking or banging or scratching or anything so definitely good to go let me get my torque wrench now we're simply just going to go in reverse from all the steps you saw before we're going to install the fan shroud then we are going to install uh, the 
oil line or the oil cable here and install that. So we're going to do this here, this here. We're going to put the plug in and we are going to attach this here and then we'll be on the other side and we'll be installing the pipe. You don't need to see me put it all back together because you saw me take it apart. scooter out we took it for a spin seems to be running pretty good with the setup that we had with the Molossi it is uh, an extra 750 RPMs over what we had before with the setup we had so now what we're going to do is go ahead and check the plug and see see what it looks like see if we need to go a little bit richer or leaner most likely, we're going to have to richen it up a little bit. Maybe go up on the jetting. And as you can see, the plug here has a white spot on it. And that's just way too lean. So we're running weight, and we're rich on the other side. So... There's gonna, it does need some jetting done, uh, quite a bit of jetting. So we're gonna have to work on the jetting. But that's, that's about the end of this video. With the gray, grayish white plug, definitely, um, it's running way too lean. And we could possibly burn the head up. And a little bit more is tomorrow I'll probably start on the, other head on the people 50 and about the head here that we have my girlfriend had been trying to get a head for this scooter for about two months from two local de dealers here in the US All, both of them kept saying we're gonna get it next week we're gonna get it next week and that went on for months so finally we just went ahead or she just went ahead and ordered it from Germany it arrived in five days extremely quick thanks guys in Germany I appreciate the quick response and having the product in stock, basically.